What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. We'll be back at it again with another video. Today we're looking at uh, Atomic Heart once again. Um, smash, loot, smash, cycle of robot destruction. So I'm guessing this is like a video explaining like the gameplay loop um, and how it's going to go down. So um, without further ado, let's get to the video. Let's get it. You're going to be smashing a lot of robots in Atomic Heart. You'll need to blast them in two or tear them limb from limb to ensure I'm your own survival. Away from my but Russian those people. moments of violence are just one part of a bigger cycle. By destroying robots, you can then harvest their components, which can mm, then be used okay. to upgrade your weapons and abilities, which in turn can then be used to destroy more robots. That's the cycle of life in the halls of Facility 3826. Mm, that was an interesting weapon. Rip and tear like uh developer Mundfish has put a lot of work doom. into making Atomic Heart's combat system as satisfying as possible. And a big part of delivering that satisfaction is through detailed damage. As you cleave through robots, their synthetic skin will tear open and reveal the metal structures within. More Brutal. industrial style enemies will see their armored casings become scratched and dented with each new strike. Mm. And of course, bullets will puncture enemies with holes and rockets will blast them to pieces. Pieces. No matter your choice in weaponry, the deadly impact of them will be reflected on the enemies you battle. While like Atomic that. Heart's numerous weapons and special powers can be used on any enemy, there's often a benefit to choosing the right weapon for the job. Each type of robot has a unique vulnerability that you'll want to exploit, and so discovering that weak point and targeting it with the right weapon will help you take down ferocious foes as fast and efficiently as possible. Sometimes those weaknesses will be obvious during the course of battle, such as a robot's armor opening up to expose its glowing core. For the times mm. when a weakness is not obvious, your personal scanner will provide hints to help you find it. With your robot enemies dead, their shattered remains can then be looted for components. Polymer batteries, superconductors, and other electronic items are just some of the things you'll find on them. And these can be used to upgrade both your weapons and the abilities of your polymer glove. That includes special skills such as blasting bolts of shock and electricity, freezing enemies in place, and telekinetically Ooh. smashing robots into the floor. So like Bioshock, like kind of how that was. I wonder, like if y'all, if you guys know, if you, any of you guys know, is the some of the developers at Munfish, is is anybody on that team from the team that made Bioshock? Let me know in the comments if you do know. If not, like, even if it's not, let me know if it's if it is or if it isn't, because it's crazy how similar this game is to Bioshock. Your telekinesis skill isn't just useful for beating up foes though. It can also be used to collect scraps and items from around the world. Mundfish has created a unique looting mechanic that allows you to telekinetically vacuum up items close to you. Drawers and cabinets quite literally open up and their contents leap into your hands. This means you don't have to open and search every individual cupboard and container, which ensures Atomic Heart's rapid pace is never slowed. You may be able to collect everything in a room within a few seconds, but you will have to be aware of how much you're carrying. Everything you pick up goes into your Yarov Apalakov backpack, which shrinks objects so that you carry much, much. I can't pronounce that. What he said? in a room within a few seconds, but you will have to be aware of how much you're carrying. Everything you pick up goes into your Yarov Apalakov backpack. Which Yarov Apalakov. Somebody in the chat spell that out for me because I don't I don't know where it is in here. I don't I don't read Russian. Spell it out phonetically for me or shrinks objects so that you may carry much, much more than usual. However, while items do get smaller, they don't get lighter. Munfish says that traveling around the world with a ton of resources stacked in your bag can get uncomfortable, suggesting there may be some kind of mm. inventory management required. For more on Atomic Heart, check out our IGN First articles on the game's robots and its fascinating alternate history of the Soviet Union. Yeah, we went you over that. You can also watch the release date trailer and 10 minutes of a brutal boss fight. We went over all of this. We reacted to all of this. So all of this is on the channel. Or you can go to IGN and watch it if you don't want to hear me talk. It doesn't matter. As long as you check it out. Um, but yeah, definitely. I'm already... I've been sold on this game since like the second video. No, I'm lying. Since the first video I ever did. Like the first trailer I ever saw in this game, I was sold. And I know I've, I've seen like... Because um, I look at my where my videos rank next to other videos. 
and a lot of people are like super excited for this game to come out. So you're gonna see a lot of videos from a lot of different creators of this game. Who knows? I might stream it because I want to do a stream before this year's out. I haven't streamed since April, but I want to do like one, at least one good stream before this year's out. Um, so it won't be this game, but it'll probably be a different game. Um, you can follow me on Twitch or YouTube. I might do it on here on YouTube. Um, but um, or one on YouTube, one on Twitch. But yeah, so um, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm already sold in this game. Are you gonna get this game? Let me know. So um, y'all already know the vibes. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. This is your boy Just Falls. We out one.